The Puerto Rican State Elections Commission can serve as a model for other U.S. states and territories because of their focus not only on recovery, but also on innovation following a natural disaster. Tell me how the Elections Commission is rebuilding the island's election systems to make it better than it was before. Well, basically, the hurricane gave us an opportunity to sit back, take a look at what's available out there, where technology is going, how, how far in advance to what we already had uh, the, the capabilities are. Then, in that time frame, be able to determine and select which technology will be better for the future, not just the next elections, but you know, 2024 and 2028 potentially. That way we're able to leapfrog technologies for us to be able to provide better services and longevity of service in a more cost-efficient manner. Will there be any major changes to the election operations in 2020 as compared to Puerto Rico's most recent elections in 2016? How will the voters experience be different? We are streamlining the elections operations. Now that we are able to leap from that technology, we're te using technology that is more cost, cost effective and efficient. That way, you know, the, the communications are shorter, the, the abilities of the systems are more powerful. Uh, it provides more capabilities for us to be able to provide more services or, or more uh, um, uh, streamlined uh, services to the community in order to, to provide a better election service. In March 2018, Congress appropriated $380 million in Help America Vote Act funds to the 55 states and territories eligible to them. Puerto Rico was awarded approximately $3.7 million. What role have these funds played in the recovery and improvement of Puerto Rico's election systems? Essential. It's essential because the money that we had that we could have used for improving the systems, we will have to spend on disaster recovery. Now with these 3.7 million, we're able to continue the progress and improvement of the election systems and capabilities. So the, ability, the, the, the fact that we're getting 3.7 million for money that we didn't have before and the money that we have, now we can uh, reallocate into actual disaster recovery, it expedites the ability for us to stand ourselves up again. Unlike most of the United States, Puerto Rico did not hold midterm elections in 2018. However, it will administer a federal election in 2020. How is the island preparing, and what do you hope the island's election systems look like at that time? The fact that we didn't have a midterm elections in 2018 gave us an ability to do a dry run, be able to run our scenarios without any impact, to be able to identify some of the gaps that we have or potentially could have down in the elections of 2020. Having that ability you know, gave us the opportunity to really now study how we can make the elections of 2020 more effective and more efficient. And at the same time, cover all the potential pitfalls that we found along the way. So I would expect that we will be well prepared to be able to execute an effective elections in 2020.